Huntsville, Alabama or Colorado Springs. The back and forth over where will be the permanent home of Space Command continues tonight. State and federal lawmakers continue to push the message that it should stay here, even as the Secretary of Defense visits the current headquarters in Colorado Springs today. KRDO News Channel 13 investigative reporter Chelsea Brensel joins us in the newsroom to tell us where the investigation stands right now. Heather and Bart, tonight both of Colorado's U.S. Senators say Colorado is the best and only home for Space Command and they want the Defense Secretary to pause any actions on moving the command out of Colorado and commit to keeping it here. It was announced last month that Space Command would move to Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. Now the Department of Defense Inspector General is investigating the decision to move the headquarters over concerns that it was politically motivated by former President Trump. The Biden Biden administration has yet to answer 13 investigates on whether or not the president would review the circumstances surrounding the move. But Colorado Democratic Senator Michael Bennett tells me today he's had multiple conversations with the Biden administration about Space Command. But the administration's well aware of uh, the deep concern, not just the Colorado Springs has, but the entire state of Colorado has about a political process that resulted in Space Command, you know, being threatened to being taken away and we're going to do absolutely everything we can to move heaven and earth to make sure that doesn't happen. Bennett also has requested to meet with the Secretary of Defense and says he will make another one with the Air Force Secretary when someone takes over that position. The Secretary of Defense has reportedly said he supports the decision making process to move Space Command. And Alabama Governor Kay Ivey says she welcomes a federal review of the process and believes it will confirm that Alabama is the right choice. Reporting in the newsroom, Chelsea Brunsell, 13 Investigates. We will see. Chelsea, thanks.